What's the point of matrix multiplication? Well, we're going to use it to make ice cream. In a previous video, I explained matrix multiplication is like a collapsing building full of rabbits. But now, let's use it to make ice cream. What's ice cream? Well, it's basically fat, water, and sugar, to greatly oversimplify. Thus, it's time to go to the store and pick up some fat, water, and sugar, right? But we don't want to buy pure fat for our ice cream. We want heavy cream, which is both fat and water. And we want milk, which has fat, water, and sometimes a bit of sugar. Though, you can buy pure sugar. Once we have our ingredients, we can put them into a matrix, like a spreadsheet. Let's say our first ingredient is whole milk. In one gram, it'll probably have 0 0.03 grams fat, 0.87 grams water, and 0 0.05 grams sugar. Then in the next column, we'll have the next ingredient, heavy cream, which in one gram might be 0.6 grams fat, 0.35 grams water, and 0 0.03 grams sugar. Then we could add another column for pure sugar, which will just be 0 for the fat and water, and 1 for the sugar. And so forth and so on, for as many ingredients as you want to include. Now we have a matrix of each column representing an ingredient, and each row representing the amount of some component per one gram of the ingredients. Now let's multiply this by a column matrix that determines the amount of each ingredient. It'll be easier to visualize the product if we do what we did in the previous video. So again, left matrix pull the left side up, and right matrix pull the top side up. Reminder that these are still the ingredient columns. You multiply the column by the value at the same height. Let's say you wanted 1.5 grams of milk, so you scale up all the values in this column by 1.5. Then, maybe only a half oh. gram of heavy cream, and maybe two yeah. grams of sugar. Add together by letting them all plop onto the result matrix on the floor. Yum, and probably too much sugar. Well, you can decide whatever amount of each ingredient you want, but part of making ice cream is getting a certain ratio of the output components. So what we want is to figure out what these values should be to achieve this. And that's ultimately kind of the point of a matrix equation. It lets you find the particular input values that when multiplied with this, yield certain output values. So let's solve for the amount of ingredients needed to achieve a certain output composition of ice cream components. Though one thing to point out, just because you can write the equation doesn't mean it's actually solvable. You could write an equation with only the sugar as an ingredient. Could you somehow find a value here that ends up with the output being 3 grams of fat, but also 5 grams of water and 1 gram of sugar? Obviously not. You need more ingredients. If we add our original 3 ingredients, there could be a solution. In fact, the matrix will be square, and we can invert it to solve the equation. If you think of your original matrix as something that converts ingredient amounts to output component amounts, you can think of the inverse matrix as doing the reverse. That means you can also visualize the inverse matrix in the same way, inputting the amount of output components desired here and scaling and combining everything back into the input ingredients. And the result is a matrix of the amount of ingredients you need to achieve the right amount of fat, water, and sugar. Let's multiply it back to see that we get the desired amount of each ice cream component. If you like that, consider subscribing, and thank you for watching.